help for questions 7 through 10. Let's get started. Now, we are looking at three dimensional shapes, and when you slice it horizontally or vertically, you're going to get a two dimensional shape. Let's look at the, the cylinder on the left. What's the base of a cylinder? The base of the cylinder is a circle. If you slice it horizontally, you will get a circle. Now the vertical cross sections are going to be more difficult. You're going to have to look at the shape like you're holding it straight on. If you look at a can straight on, what do you really see? You see a rectangle. And when we slice a cylinder vertically, we get a rectangle. Now, the rectangular prison is probably the easiest one because what is the base of a rectangular prison? It's a rectangle and you'll see that in the drawing. On the right side we have done it vertically. What do you get? You get the side which again is a rectangle. Okay? Alright, let's look at the pyramid. The pyramid's a little more difficult. On the left we have a pyramid with a rectangular base. So when you slice it horizontally, you're going to get a rectangle. Now, if this prison had had a three-sided base, when you sliced it, you would get a triangle. If it had a five-sided base and you had sliced it horizontally, you would have gotten a, a pentagon. Okay. Now let's look at the pyramid and this doesn't matter what the base is Okay, on a pyramid. If you slice it vertically, you will get a triangle. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Cone. What's the base of a cone? A circle. So if I slice it horizontally, what should I get? A circle. Alright, but what about if I slice it vertically? What will I get when I slice my cone vertically? A triangle. Alright, I hope that helped you guys. What were we studying? We Why are we studying this? We are seeing how well you can visualize. Visualization is actually an important skill in the real world. Remember when you're doing this that a horizontal cross section will give you the base. The vertical cross section is a lot more difficult. You're going to have to look at the object straight on, not seeing the top or the bottom, and usually that silhouette will give it to you. Okay? I hope this helped you. Goodbye.